is going on everyone this is scream truth here and today we're going to be covering the new developer blog that came out if it will load for me we're going to just try and redo it here um this developer log is extremely interesting um it's about prestige okay so basically what they're talking about in prestige is that um people are stuck at the top in rank one 200 mil experience Mm, they want that to change so everyone has a chance to be rank one. Um, so basically, Prestige is a system where you can get 99 and then you go for 99 again. And the high scores will work with Prestige accounts on the 99. Uh, I really don't know what to think about it. I think that it's a good idea. I just think that the backlash from a lot of higher level players um, is going to be pretty pretty uh large um i don't think a lot of people like this because um not only do you restart your 99 um each time you prestige your skill it's going to take twice as long to do it so your second prestige instead of 13 mil will be 26 mil a third one like 52 mil and so forth so Oh, never mind. For each for each 99, they just raise it by 13 mil. Okay, I I thought it was a little bit worse, but um, I think it's a good idea. Personally, I mean, I can't speak from being one who is really close to the top or at the top in a 99 um, skill on the high scores, like. I can see how they would be really angry because they've put so much time into getting 200 mil in it. And as you can see, if they don't prestige, they will be underneath people who did. And that's going to be kind of a shame. I think that there should be two separate high scores. Um, one with like the first people to 200 mil the stuff and always be on top. And then the second one, this newer one, would be like the competitive high scores that is current and still going for the first position. Um, so when you prestige, one thing that they said is that you will be able to switch it off um, so you're not trapped at your low level and you can use your skill at level 99. Uh, you just can't earn EXP, so that means if you want to go bossing with people, or if you needed a certain thing, you can switch off your prestige and go do that. Uh, you just won't get the XP for it, and then when you switch it off again, you'll be gaining XP from the level that you were set at on your prestige, if that makes any sense. Um, the overall category, this looks really interesting. Um, all skills 99 twice um, total prestige 57 prestiges and total level the total level is really interesting because that means the total level doesn't really stop um, but that's kinda cool um, all skills at like two sets if you max the game twice in a row you'd be on top that's that's really crazy um, I thought that the game was kind of grindy and that the grind was kind of going away. I think this is there for those people who are really competitively going for that still. And um, I don't. No one really has to do this if they don't want to. And if you don't really care about the high scores, this shouldn't be too big of a deal. But I think it's a really nice update. It just means that once you get to 99 in the game, the game's not really over for you, and that you can continue onward and re-experience some of your favorite 99s. Um, you'll still be able to make progress towards your 200 mil in your lifetime EXP, which is still the cap, and you'll earn your rank in the old high scores. So, like I said earlier in the video, that's going to be an option, um, which is good. I'm glad that they're not getting rid of that. So, what do you guys think? Um, what do you think about a second high scores coming into play that is the current and competitive high scores? Where everyone gets a chance to be on top based on prestige levels. Um, I'm kind of curious as to whether that means prestige caps at, at 5 prestige because you wouldn't be able to get over, you'd be over 200 mil if you went past that, I think. 
Um, so comment below, let me know. I really want to hear what you guys think, and we'll see you guys all next time. Thanks for watching.